डॉक्टर सुधाकर राव सर इज अ ट्रू वेरी 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 पर्सनैलिटी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिस्क्राइब हिम वी आर मिसिंग फर्स्ट टाइम आइडिया क्लिनिक नेशन कॉन्फ्रेंस सर वी नो पीपल हुर अटैच टू सर हाउ मच वी आर मिसिंग ओनली गॉड विल नो Only I have I have a God God given opportunity for me in December 2024. Sorry, December December 2023 is a national conference in Hyderabad, Isikan. God has given me some idea to facilitate a Guru's program called Guru Deva Bhava. In that Guru Deva program, Sir was the one of the Guru Guru who we facilitated him. So, Sir is Sir Sir is Sir. i can i can't describe sir's uh, personality only thing i can understand his life is that he always think that other person is greater than him any other person who may be a driver or may be a uh, uneducated always he think that he is a superior than sir but to sir doesn't know that he is a superior to all the human being that is a true that is a what's what my heart heart felt feelings Uh, Dr. Sudhakar Rao uh, was the second uh, uh, DM for endocrinology in Hyderabad. Uh, I know him from uh, 1980s. So, so he did his uh, DM endocrinology from uh, Chandigarh, and then uh, we were very close with RSSDA. So RSSDA is the uh, he is the major one of the pillars of RSSDA. most of you know about rssd and now he is the president dr rakesh is the president so 1972 it was started from 1983 uh, we were running the uh, organization i was running the organization and dr sudhakar rao was my uh, is my backbone so he has supported me through many problems and uh, he was the treasurer for about 25 years for rssd and i was a secretary and uh, he has helped me a lot in uh, going through all the troubles so uh, uh, other colleagues will talk about his endocrinology uh, issues but i am talking about his uh, other uh, non endocrinology issues but he was a great support to me and uh, in many difficulties in uh, meetings you know executive meetings general body meetings there were always comments against me in uh, meetings and he was very Uh, boldly and strongly supporting me for about uh, uh, 25 30 years in rssda and uh, it's a great loss to me he was my uh, sort of uh, elder brother all these years and uh, i was looking after all his family members and his friends so while he was in politics for two terms as mla he was uh, referring all his uh, friends relatives and classmates from uh, mulugu warangal and uh, he is a native place so like that i was very close to him and it's a great loss for me to uh, know that he is no more uh, thank you for giving this opportunity to give the tributes to a great man dr sudak sudakara was as uh, dr vivra has just mentioned he was uh, the professor of endocrinology at uh, gandhi medical college in secunderabad for almost a decade he was he ran the, he established the department of endocrinology there he was uh, uh, the second endocrinologist uh, uh, qualified i mean from the state of telangana and or maybe the first white state of uh, ap and uh, he was uh, you know in 2000 he uh, resigned from uh, from uh, the gandhi medical college and then got into active politics he was served as a, a member of the legislative assembly for 2 10 years and and uh, was again back into the practice of endocrinology after that and has been associated with idea clinics he was very active as dr piro said he was active with the rssdi and the endocrine society of india he was uh, also went on to become the president of rssdi also in on i think in 2006 or 7 and then he was also uh, also conducted the national conference of endocrine society in 1999 and then he was also the president of the uh, telangana chapter of endocrine society of india for a long period and uh, till his uh, demise in june this year may june may june this year he was uh, 
he was the president of the telangana endocrine society and he was also you know he held many positions like the chairman of the arugya shri trust also in the telangana government in the previous tenure previous uh, till till december 2023 he was holding that tenure so he has been very active he as uh, but more important was that he was a very humble person who did not um, you know uh, who treated everybody uh, uh, very nicely and was always smiling uh, uh, took took up any problems very in a very affable and smiling way so that was that's why he was liked by everyone and uh, one and all whether you look at his students or whether you look at his colleagues or uh, others everybody uh, liked him and uh, went along he got along with everybody very well very nicely so it was it's a great loss for all of us that dr sudhakar rao is no more and uh, even in his uh, final illness he was he did not uh, let anybody know that he was uh, he was uh, going through illness and no no we only came to know after his demise that he was you know going through a, a serious illness and uh, and uh, when we heard about it he was uh, he had uh, expired by that time so it is uh, indeed uh, i mean we pay tribute to such a uh, person who is very, who is very humble always dedicated to his work and uh, when he was active in all all fronts in the society so we pay our respects to him yeah dr Dr. Sudhakar Rao was the person who has initiated Department of Endocrinology at Gandhi Medical College in 1989. And uh, till 2000 he was there. He took a voluntary retirement and went because of for the personal reasons. He left it and joined the politics. And uh, it's not 2014. In 1999 only there was one more Endocrine Society of India conference. And uh, he has uh, conducted that in 1999. Uh, and then uh, again in the recently 2024 uh, 23 23 december and i was associated with him there and uh, he's one person who has also taken interest to continue the academics in of the endocrine society of hyderabad and telangana where we used to have monthly meetings in the evening where i used to him, see him regularly one thing is that he is down to earth man. That's how I know him. And uh, to my department at Gandhi, the, he's, you know, in mid 90s, you know that Hyderabad has got radio immunosis in, in his department. That was the greatest thing. You know, in those days we used to do all the hormones uh, at Gandhi Hospital. Mm, we were somewhere in the mid 90s with the older RIA technologies. Uh, so, a lot of things to be learned from him, uh, and uh, he's a really been a great personality, and we miss him. Thank you, Professor Sudhakar Rao, sir. As what I know is punctual. Whenever endocrine clinics, he is maybe the first one or the next one after the resident who comes, and. We always used to admire sir for his inquisitiveness and possibly the keenness to learn despite all his other works which used to take a lot of time. But still he would never miss the events especially conducted by Endocrine Society of Telangana. So in that sense actually we lost a uh, actively working president for us and he is the one who put Hyderabad on the national map twice. and. Uh, SUCON 2023 under SIRS guidance still remains the benchmark where most of the across pan India faculty appreciated that this is best ever conference organized. And we used to trouble him plenty of times at odd hours for a lot of things, but uh, he never, never ever uttered any, anything even impolite way also. He would always be supportive, he would always be hand holding for all of us in conducting that and that shows the result what has happened and i am sure the legacy of sir will continue in the form of idea clinics and we would remember him forever in our lives thank you now thank you um, 
i think um, dr uh, professor dr sudhakar rao garu has been like a father figure for idea clinics and uh, we dearly miss him and i would like to request a few moments of silence in his remembrance <laughs> 